you have beliefs around yourself around money and what happens is your vibration that you're in you're sending that out into the universe right that's the law of vibration working so the vibration you're sending out into the universe law of attraction then responds to the vibration and it attracts back to you who you are your identity your blueprint so people try to focus on the law of attraction but we've got to back it up we've got to go right to the root cause of the attraction which is our beliefs now you can never outperform your belief system it's like trying to run away from your shadow have anybody tried to run away from the shadow it's kind of impossible right where well, it is impossible so we have this identity that's making us feel a certain way it's making us think a certain way so the universe goes around is working all the time law of vibration law of attraction is working constantly so throughout the day when you're sleeping it projects it goes out into the universe and it starts going fishing for things that are on the same frequency as you are it's like if I try to ring Marsha if I don't have her number okay I'm not gonna get through to her if I've got one digit wrong two digits wrong it's not gonna happen we're not gonna make that connection so people are trying to visualize they're trying to attract something which they're not programmed for okay the software so we've got to alter the software that's exactly what I had to do to get over to what I'm doing now last month I just did just around 200k um, where before I was trying to attract 200,000 well I was trying to attract 20,000 25,000 5,000 but I wasn't able to do so because simply I wasn't on that frequency I wasn't programmed I didn't have the beliefs about myself the beliefs about myself the beliefs about money success my worthiness right and all the all the universe does is mirrors back to you your subconscious beliefs your identity is this making sense guys and girls this making sense I'm gonna break this down to you as simply as I can okay and our programming begins from a very young age so we start to gather data we start to like look at our past experiences we um, past failures past rejections we get emotionally involved with that and then we, we we're blocked in right we're blocked into that self-image the the identity that we have so I have an identity of myself which I had to work on in my subconscious mind so we've got a we've got an image in our subconscious mind because we think in pictures so you have an image of who you believe you are and who you believe you're not you have an image of yourself have you ever tried to do something you try to do something I'm not a tech I'm not a techie person right and you you, you go into like you've got to do something around tech already before you even started something's up with your computers fucking about and well, your internet's gone and you don't know how to get into the router and you say to yourself well I'm, I'm not a techie person before you've even started you've kind of failed this could be when you're going towards a big goal or you're starting up a business okay so you're going to do something that you know that you're not good at you believe that you're not good at and so you've already kind of quit before you started you've already lost the battle before it started anybody experienced that give me give me a thumbs up if you've experienced that so so like I said our identity that we have that is what magnetizes things to us now 